The ideas expressed in the following presentations are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views of ACI or its committees. ACI web sessions are recorded at ACI conventions or other concrete industry events and will be made available for viewing free of charge for one week. Thereafter, they will be archived on the ACI website or added to ACI's online CEU program, depending on their content. You can earn continuing education credits through ACI's online CEU program. Visit www.concrete.org to register. ACI conventions provide an opportunity for networking and for keeping up to date with the latest in concrete technology and practices. Okay, I'd like to introduce La Peyote. Prasadi Supin, did I get that right? <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit close. Sorry. <laughs> uh, at any rate, uh, uh, Lapayot is going to give a presentation on characterization of chemical treatment method for rice husk ash cementing materials. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lapayot, and I'm the PhD student at Oregon State University. My advisor, Dr. David Trejo, he is not here right now. He has a chair meeting in corruption. So today I would like to present the research topic about the characterization of the chem chem chemical treatment method for the right hash ash cementing materials. So the outline of the presentation consists of five of the part. One is the breakdown and the challenges why people not using the right hash ash compared to like other SEM materials like fire ash. And also the research objective, the materials and the experimental programs. And also some of the results that we have and summarize of the presentation. Okay, let's start with the breakdown and the, cha the challenges. So, the development of sustainable construction materials actually is what the construction industry is one of the largest industry in the world and also is one of the largest polluter on earth. So if we can improve the sustainability in construction materials, it's going to have a significant lower the environmental impact and also reduce the cost. So this is four factors that we need to consider for the sustainable for construction to make it more sustainable. Not only the sustainability, we also need to consider the cost, the durability, and also the constructability of the materials. We all know that um, the cement industry is account for 5 to 7% of the carbon dioxide emissions. So the IEA or International Energy Agency, he, they make the roadmap that we need to cut the carbon dioxide emission by 18% within four, 40 years. So if we can add the supplementary cementing materials like 50 for our system, we're going to reduce about 15% to 20%, which is all, almost uh, achieved the goal of the IEA. So what is the right hash ash? Right hash ash is actually is a cover of the rice, and they burn for getting the, en the energy. And after burning, they remove the cellulose and the carb the carbon component leaving the amorphous silica and this amorphous silica can use as the SCM so because a large volume of the R R RHA is generated so people and it's not really being used right now why? because if we add into the concrete it increases the water demand because they, they have the unique structure and also delays strengthen because the porcelainic reaction and reduce the fall. So this is the SEM picture of the right, 
right hash hash we're gonna see that the cover here that's the out the out the outer shell of the right hash s and the inner shell we're gonna see that it have the pore structure we call it mesopore structure that's why it captured the water and and make the the pore reduced so many researchers they're doing the mechanical grinding by reduce the part the particle size and also is lead to the increase the workability like the van tour in Delft University he investigated that he reduced the particle size of uh, of uh, RHA by six point three point six micron and is result in improved flow and this flow can be similar to the port Portland cement. And also one thing that I want I wanna point out because um, to reduce this part particle size like thirty three percent is increase the energy requirement like two hundred fifty percent. So that is not efficient for using the ball mill grinding or the make the make the mechanical grinding. So our research objective is try to make a new system using the chemical reaction. This is the re chemical reaction that we propose and we call it the morphological transformation method, which is, is silicon di di dioxide with the sodium hy hydroxide and then we get the silicate compounds. So look at this graph, we're going to see that if we have the solution at high pH about 12 to 13, the silicon can dissolve into the so solution. So that's, set. that's why we got, if we got the ion dissolved into the solution more, that means we have the smaller particle. So if the smaller, we get the smaller particle, that means the work, the workability of the concrete may be improved. So the takeaway from this slide is this tran transformation is occurred at the high pH level. So the materials and experimental program for this study, we prepare the paste and the mortar using the Taiwan to Portland cement, the athlete as receive IHA or we call it here AR IHA and also the DI water for our system, the sodium hydroxide for generate the high pH solution and the fine aggregate and also we also add the dispersing agent like po po polyvinyl alcohol or PVA. Let's look at the particle size analysis. We're gonna see that the average particle size analysis of the ARR RHA is about 192 microns. So the material variable, we using the replacement levels as 0%, 10%, 15%, and also we have three types of the RHA, which are the ARR RHA, the transform RHA or TRHA, and the TRHA plus one PVA. So the characterization method that we consider, we consider the setting charm of the paste just using the white cat needle, the four, the four ability using the four table, the one day, seven day, and 28 day comprehensive string and the porosity at 28 day curing. Also we modify um, the mortar porosity test because we think that if the, when we add the IHA into the system, the flow is reduced. So we might increase the con consolidating energy. So that's why we need to make sure that we have the same energy for each time. So we fabricate the using the hopper. So this is the cement paste, like half of the smoke cement. We add it on the top and we use the same energy by gravity force as four inches. So we open the lid and then it's go 
going down here and then actuate the vibrating table for five seconds. So, and the second half is going to do the same approach. That's why we is gonna get the same energy in input for each time. This is the result of the study. So the first thing that we think about, so we have the chemical re reaction. So how we gonna quantify what is the highest yield that we have for the reaction. Um, so we think about if we have the smaller particle size, that means we have a high, higher yield. So we, we take a look with mixing the ARHA with two molar so sodium so high sodium hydroxide solution and we mix it at room temperature because we don't want any energy to involve to increase more energy and then mix it for 400 RPM. We gonna see that the average particle size of ARHA is about 192 microns. And for the longer mixing time, the particle size reduced as three hours. We're gonna see that the um, average particle size is reduced to 25%. And after that, um, somehow from three hours to eight hours, the particle size is increased. So why is that happen? Because we think that um, actually when we have very small par particle, um, the smaller par particle is going to have more ex attractive force and then it's getting accelerated together. That's why we add the PVA to disperse the system, make it stabilized. So the takeaway from this slide is reduced particle size of IHA is a result of the solution chemistry and also the mixing time. So this is the SCM picture. The this one is the ARI chair. We're gonna see we have the mesopore structure. That's why it's captured a lot of water by the capillary force. And look at the TRI chair or the transform one. The solution, um, the structure here, the mesopore structure is reduced. So we can assume that it might be the great way of doing um, the transformation. So we know that at mixing at two molar sodium hydroxide and three hours mixing time, we gonna set the we gonna get the highest yield. So after that, we add the concrete, add the cement in the PC system. So we have zero percent, ten percent, uh, and fifteen percent IHA, and we have three types of the. Uh, IHA. Also, we characterize four of the system. Let's look at the setting time. We're gonna see the setting time of the ARRHA is increased, but for the TRRHA is decreased, and the TRRHA plus PVA doesn't have a, any effect on the replacement level. The final set setting time showing the same way. So the takeaway from this slide is ARIHA increase the setting time, the TRIHA reduce the setting time. And we think about if we can have some of the com combination between ARIHA and the TRIHA, we're gonna get the, um, the rule of mixture, so it's going down and go, going up into the middle level. That's why we're gonna get the same setting time as the PC, and it's gonna be useful for the um, construction. So this is the four of the RHA. So for the ARRHA, we see that if we increase the replacement level, the four is significantly reduced. However, if we add the TRRHA, it's better than ARRHA. How about the effect of the PVA? It's not, it seems not have any effect on adding the PVA. So we can conclude that the four is better than ARRHA. The comparative strength, 
So for the ARI shared system, this is you, uh, on the y-axis, we use the strength ratio between the RHA and the control. So if the level at one, that's, that's mean like we have the 100% PC. So we're gonna see that at 10% and 15%, the strength of the ARRHA is reduced. And look at 28 days here at 15%, it's about 60%, which is significant reduce. However, for the TRI share, we're going to see that at one day and seven day strength is increased. How? But for the 28 day strength is still reduced when we compare with the control. Why is happened at one day and seven day strength is increased? Because we think it's the effect of the sodium hydroxide that we add for the first time, so it makes the, uh, the early age thing is better. So the conclusion, ARIHA we saw in low, lower strength and one day, seven day strength is of the TRIHA is similar to the control and 28 day is still lower. The addition of PVA is limit in influence on the setting term. The last one, the porosity, we're gonna see that the ARI share increased, but the TRI share is reduced. Why is happening? Because um, ARI share system, we have the bigger particle, like 192 micron, and for the PC, the particle size is about 10 to 15, so we have big particle and small particle, that's making the part particle packing is not very good. For the TRI share, we got the particle size is 25, and the PC is about 10 to 15, that's why we got the better particle packing. So this is the summary of our work. So particle size, we can reduce it to 25 micron when we mix with two molar sodium hydroxide for three hours, and better, uh, faster setting time, better for when compared to ARRHA and one day and seven day compensative strength is faster and the porosity is reduced because we have the better particle packing. So this is our future research. We consider the ion concentration of hydroxyl calcium and aluminate at early age. Also the chemical shrinkage and uh, we also analyze the, the long-term performance, like coli defensibility and the microstructure of the PC and IHS together. And this is what we're gonna present on STMT in Japan in August. I would like to thank you, Dr. Wen Ping Li and Dr. Thomas Chell, Chell Hammer, Paraway in Chemical Department. Any question from the audience? Yes, actually, it's more of a clarification. In your uh, introduction comments, you mentioned the 80% CO2 reduction uh, that is proposed by the International Energy Agency for the cement industry. So it can, uh, it, it can seem quite a, a modest target, but this is absolute amounts, and in the same time, the cement production is expected to, uh, to raise very significantly. So when you factor in the uh, increase of cement demand, uh, the reduction of CO2 content per ton of cement is about uh, 50%. Thank you. That's a good question. Any, Any other questions? questions? Well, thank you very, very much.